Hi, and welcome to Frasha Talks. My name is Stefan, and today we are going to talk about cybersecurity in the railway industry. Safety has been a well known discipline in the railway industry for decades. In contrast, cybersecurity is a newer topic that has become increasingly important in recent years. So, first things first. What is the main difference between safety and security? Safety mainly deals with preventing accidents and injuries resulting from operational hazards such as derailments or collisions. Security, on the other hand, focuses on protecting the railway system from deliberate acts of sabotage, terrorism or other criminal activities. To summarize, safety protects people from the machine and security protects the machine from people. This also means that security must protect safety without compromising it. Think of an overarching umbrella. Both aspects have to work together even if they are based on different conditions. The risk within safety remains constant for a system or a service and therefore the measures do not need to be updated over the years. Security, on the other hand, faces constant new vulnerabilities and threats, which requires a different approach to risk and patch management. It is therefore very important to create synchronization points between safety and security throughout the whole life cycle of a system. This is described in more detail in my next video. But why is security so important? The digitization in railway systems is happening rapidly. Distributed solutions demand widespread and diverse connectivity possibilities, even over open networks. In light of this, it is crucial to implement additional layers of protection to ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the safety communication. This approach is called defense in depth. Defense in depth means that various kinds of controls create a diverse cluster of security layers. Physical controls prevent IT systems from unauthorized physical access by measures such as fences or locked rooms. In comparison, Technical controls protect network systems using hardware or software like firewalls or strong user authentication. However, not only technical solutions are necessary to increase the level of security, also organizational measures like policies and procedures can support this. Increasing the security of a railway system is a team sport. Operators, integrators and product manufacturers must work hand-in-hand hand throughout the whole life cycle. New standards like TS50701 and IC63452 address the cybersecurity needs in railways to help the stakeholders to understand how to integrate cybersecurity in a holistic way. So, thank you for joining us and see you in the next episode of Frauscher Talks. <music>